Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha Chakwadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well and teach well, and who have learned this truth from through the power and spirit of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. Peace and salutations unto all you Akim, your brothers preaching this word in truth and in sincerity across the four corners of the earth. And Shalom to the hopeful elect, you sincere believers scattered wherever you may be. The, the title of this one uh, will be Loosely Recycle. Men come back and the word comes back with him. Oh man, inspired. <clears throat> Inspired by the uh, Indianapolis camp, the elders down there teaching. I believe they might still be going live now, uh, along with Apostle Apostle Ramlab down there speaking and teaching. Um, you know, but the spirit hopped on me uh, just to add on <laughs> to what they were going into. One of the topics uh, they were hitting on reincarnation and the elder Ayash. Had mentioned um, in the video, and Lord willing, I can throw the link in the description box. Um, uh, just along the lines of the, it's like it's like recycling this truth, you know. I'm, not to say it's garbage at all, all right, Lord forbid. But uh, just putting it in in perspective, you know, what I'm saying men come back, reincarnation, regeneration. If you could receive it, we come back. The spirits come back because spirits never die, right? That's why we put here, because like the Apostle Ramlev said, right? He is the father of spirits and he'll never, uh, uh, um, I'm trying to bold this. He'll never cut off a spirit completely because that'll be like cutting off himself. He'll never kill off a spirit, period. All right. But we know this flesh uh, decays away. Or we quote unquote die, but we don't necessarily die for real. Okay. Like they say, uh, energy is not destroyed, it's transferred. Some some along those lines. But recycling, right? It's a it's a, a regeneration, a re meaning back. Okay. So it's back in cycle, it's back in motion. When we come back into whatever body the Lord chooses. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Hey, the truth comes back with us. What if we're meant to get it? If it was already set in stone for it to happen, it's going to happen. Um, so actually, before I begin, and it's the spirit that we're opening up with Daniel 12 and 13. And uh, I was just putting together some precepts. Some of the brothers that, um, well, some of the precepts that brothers had got, you know, at camp, um, um, they might have hit all of these, honestly. Uh, maybe not James. I didn't hear the James. But anyways, it's the spirit. We started that Daniel and then the spirit led me back to Daniel at the end. <laughs> you know, you can't make it up. It's the recycle. You know, it, it tied right along with the lesson. Um, but before I begin, I wanted to grab the word recycle. Actually, I looked up reduce, reuse, recycle. Because what, what I had thought of when the Elder Ayash had mentioned that was elementary school when we learned the three R's. <laughs> we learned the three R's. We had like a whole presentation, a whole assembly. They used to call them to where like uh, all the grades, man, it's crazy. Jake, man. All the grades um, come together in the, um, not the auditorium, but the gymnasium. And you'll have like a guest speaker or whatever. But you know what I'm saying? Bull bullshit little days to get out of class. Anyways, one of these presentations or one of these speakers was on recycling. Um, and I always remembered. <laughs> well, they had, I don't know if they had like some type of jingle. But I remember the three R's. Reduce, reuse, recycle. So it says recycling uses old products in new ways. Okay. So what? Just like. If a man, man, woman, children, whatever, whenever we perish, 
You know what I'm saying? Hey, we go back up to the Heavenly Father who gave it, who gave our spirit. You know, like it says in Ecclesiastes, uh, Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes 12 and 7, if I'm not mistaken. Basically, when we pass away, the spirit goes back up to the Heavenly Father. Okay. All right. And the third or fourth generation, like it says in the book of Exodus, if I'm not mistaken, hey, we come back. Right. And we play out our judgment upon the earth. And what? You live a, a, a quote unquote new life. Okay. Um, it says reduced means to minimize the amount of waste we create. Reuse refers to using items more than once. Recycle means putting a product to a new use instead of throwing it away. <laughs> okay. So like the elders and, and apostles was going into, hey, you know what I'm saying? If you're of the elect, the truth isn't going to leave you, period. If you're of the elect, you're going to endure until the end. And Lord willing, that's why we have, you're, we're supposed to be hoping. We hope and pray and give diligence to make our calling of election sure because we don't know. We don't know and, and we got to um, uh, constantly have the fear of the Lord upon us, you know, because we don't know. However, you have that hope. You have the confidence. And what? You have to produce action. You know what I'm saying? If you believe. All right. You don't want to go and believe in that you're a part of the two thirds. No, you, you want to go and believe in that. You may be a part of the elect. And actually, I want to grab. Um, um, if they were with the or basically because those that leave. They were never with you from the beginning. You know, they really they weren't with Yahweh Shai from the beginning. Right, because we know through the spirit that hey, the elect was with Yahweh Shai before the foundation of the, of the world when we were sealed. Um, oh man, what's the pre seven? It's escaping me how it, um, leave us. They were never, and I know I'm butchering it trying to quote it. Con, there it is, first John 2 and 19, and then we'll and then we'll go into the lesson. So, like it, first John 2 and 19. You know, this is to the ones that might have been with you in the fight or they end up leaving. Okay. Um, basically, those that depart from the faith, to keep it simple. First John 2 and 19. They went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, <clears throat> they would no doubt, no doubt, no doubt about it. It says, have continued with us, but they went out that they might be made manifest that they were not all of us. And it boils down to they weren't of the elect. They weren't of the elect. They were in it for a short moment and then boom. You know what I'm saying? They're out of there. Hey, just uh, uh, um, to get their judgment. You know, that was their lot. You know, and we all come back in our rightful lots. Right? We are all recycled. <laughs> You know, if you're a wicked in a past generation, you're going to be wicked again. Hey, let the filthy be filthy still. Uh, going back to the word recycle. Re uh, convert waste into reusable material. Return material to a previous stage in a cyclic process. Use again. So that's what he does with the spirits, man. He uses them again. He, he brings them back. <laughs> Okay, the Lord brings us back. Um, so let me go to Daniel 12 and 13. Because <clears throat> uh, it says. So he was speaking to Daniel, right? Daniel 12 and 13. It says, but go thou, go thou thy way to the end be. And we're in the end right now. And the days that we're living in right now, it says, for thou shalt rest. Okay. It says, and stand in thy lot at the end of the days. So what? Basically saying Daniel is coming back uh, uh, in his rightful position again as a prophet. And he will be back here in the last days. 
All right, if he's not back here already, he will be. Um, because it said, uh, uh, like the scriptures say, the spirits of the prophet, the spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets. Meaning, again, if you were a prophet back then, you'll be a prophet now. If you had the word, the truth back then, you'll receive it again now. Like the scripture say in the spirit, we had uh, James 1 and 21 next. It's engrafted, an engrafted word. And we'll grab that word, Lord willing. James 1 and 21. Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness and receive with meekness the engrafted word, which is able to save your souls. So basically repent, okay, repent and receive this truth, which is able to save your souls. When you look up the word engrafted, because it goes into receive with meekness the engrafted word. The word engrafted goes into emphitos. It says inborn. Wow. <laughs> and like uh, uh, in the book of Jeremiah 1 verse 5, if I'm not mistaken, it said, uh, you know, he, he knew us. You know what I'm saying? From the womb or from before the womb. The Lord knows all spirits. Okay. It says implanted by nature. <laughs> Damn. Implanted by others instruction. Uh, I wanted to, let's see what it says in the, um, okay. Strong's definition from G1722. Let's see what that says. In, by, with, etc. So in. It's it's from within. You know, you had it already. It just took what? Hey, the the uh the word. The word in Yahweh Shai to activate you, man. You know, you heard this word behind thee, and you, you started following. <laughs> you started following. Okay. Hey, via Yahweh Shai. Bahashim Rachakwadash, we received this word, um, repented from our um, filthiness in this case. And what, Lord Rinnan, unto the end, <clears throat> we continue to rehearse the righteous acts, you know, continually uh, uh, repenting, praying, fasting if need be, um, working, working unto the end. And Lord Rinlin, we be delivered. All right. Lord Rinlin, we're part of the elect. And I'm trying to see if there's anything else here. Implanted by nature. Imp the doctrine implanted by your teachers. God. Because, well, we had, we had to have someone to teach us, right? You know, the prophets that were before us. All right. Even uh, in one West, trickling all the way on down to, to all the camps you see across the world. Starting with the elder Abba Vibbins, who we believe through the spirit is John the Baptist. Because like the scriptures say, he had to come back before the Lord's return. You know, um, but anyways, from here, let me jump to Matthew 19 and verse 28. It says, and Yahweh Shai said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye shall also sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. All right. So it's no coincidences, man. Like the um <laughs> the brother Kazak here in our camp and Gary. You know, ain't no coincidences. Ain't no coincidence. And that's a tongue twister. Coincidences, man. All right. If you were once following, a, hey, if you were once following Yahweh Shai in your past life, in the ancient times, you'll be back here in your rifle lot. You know, the rifle position you were given from on high to follow him again, to follow Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai again. Again, when you go, uh, actually, let me look up the word lot. 
But anyways, the, the, the main thing that pops into my head and how I like to, to explain it is um, um, essentially just like a parking lot and you're the car or you might have reserved parking, right? Reserved parking. You go into or reserve seats in a stadium. You have your ticket. <laughs> it's your ticket. And you have your seat you're assigned to. Okay. What? You're only supposed to go to that seat alone. Because that's where your ticket is. is uh, that That's what it's destinated for. Or same thing with the parking lot. You know, you pull up, you pull up into your space. That's where you're supposed to be. <laughs> and that's where you will be. All right. Lot uh, definition. It says a, a particular group, collection, or set of people or things. It says, uh, let's see what this says. No. Actually, let me go back to Daniel 12 and see what it says there. Portion. Yeah, I guess you could say that, man. Portion, recompense, retribution, a portion or destiny, <laughs> as if determined by lot. Yeah, it's your destiny. What they say is, is fate. It's all the Lord's will at the end of the day. If it's written, that's where it's going to be. That's where it's going to land by lot, quote unquote, by chance. You know, but it's all hey, the, the Lord's will. And everybody, everything is operating upon that. Uh, so let me jump Titus three and five. It says not by works of righteousness, which we have done, because our, our our righteousness is counting as filthy as rags. It's nothing that we have done. All of us deserve death to whatever we have done in this life. And Lord knows what we we've done in our past lives. What type of sins we were doing then? As our forefathers, it says what? But according to his mercy, whose mercy? Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, he saved us by the washing of regeneration and the renewing of the Holy Spirit, which he shed on us abundantly through Yahweh Shai Mashiach, our Savior, that being justified, that being justified by his grace, we should be heirs according to the hope of eternal life. All right, and that's what we're hoping for. Eternal life um, via Yahweh Shai's blood, man. You know, that's how we are made righteous and whole and pure. Through him. Okay. Um, so from there, 2 Timothy 2 and 19. So lock you up. Type 21. 2 Timothy 2 and 19. It says... Nevertheless, the foundation of the Most High standeth sure, having the seal. The Lord knoweth them that are his. <laughs> All right, the sheep uh, uh, knoweth his voice, loosely paraphrasing. Okay, and they were, they're not going to follow another, right? Again, it, it took whatever point in your life, that certain time, you were meant to, to to wake up. You did. You did, right? Started um, studying the scriptures. Might have been OR. <laughs> God knows I was first coming into this truth, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, constantly uh, um, digging in the scripts, reading, praying, which we sh still should be doing, of course. But, um... You know, now finding the balance, but the point being, what? Uh, um, as soon as you heard it, you knew it was the truth. You knew it was the truth, and you knew everything else was BS. You know, the Christian church and the, and the Catholicism, all that was lies. You know, you woke up to that fact. Because what? This is the truth. The truth shall set you free. Right? Free from sin, but also all the, all the BS around you basically um 
what they say, uh, it says the truth is stranger than fiction because now in the days that we're living in now, um, the truth is, uh, only given to select few. This is why when you present it to somebody that's not of the elect, that's not of the hopeful elect, you know, they disregard it or it goes over their head. It goes one ear out the other. It's strange unto them. So they're like, huh, this can't be the truth because this is not what I've been hearing all my life. No, that's, that's lies. That's what they claim the truth to be because it's stranger, <laughs> you know. But what we were telling them that, no, nah, man, hey, you know, all this just some bullshit, for lack of better words. All that's some BS. Hey, bro, the Lord's coming back. And they, and they look at you like an outlier, like a weirdo. You know, that's why we, hey, we just use wisdom. And um, speaking first and foremost to myself, knowing when to elaborate, when not to, when to speak, when not to, who to give, you know what I'm saying, the little nuggets onto and you know testing spirits test the spirit by the spirit but Salak, you're not to get of course uh second timothy i'm gonna start again from the top second timothy 2 and verse 19 nevertheless the foundation of the most high stand of sure having this seal the lord knoweth them that are his and let every one that name with the name of a mashiach depart from iniquity all right, the Lord knows every one of his sheep, man. All right, and they won't be lost. They will not be lost. Going back to Daniel, and we'll end on this. Again, that recycle. <laughs> We're going back into the cycle. Uh, Daniel 12 and verse 10. Many shall be purified and made white and tried. This is re referring to or, or alluding unto who? the elect in these times many are going to be purified through the word tried you know everyone will be tried a trying of what your faith that says but the wicked shall do wickedly and none of the wicked shall understand but the wise shall understand and we know who is counted as wise those that fear the lord Right. The fear of the Lord, that is wisdom and to depart from evil is understanding. Like it tells us in the book of Job 28 and 28. OK. Um, but that's basically it, man. You know, hey, the, you know, the prophets are back, the wicked are back, the elect, <laughs> the two thirds. They're here. We're here. You know, and it's all according to. Hey, to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh's will and whatever lot you are given. And you know, we just pray and hope we're on the Lord's good side in the movie. Okay. So with that, um, Lord willing, this was edifying and exhorting. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory again unto Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachakwadash.